All right. So, so as you can see, this is a live market. This is a live market. And apart from support and resistance area, this uh, horizontal support and resistance area, we also have another kind of resistance and support area, okay, which is not, uh, most of the time is not um, the horizontal one, but they form diagonally. Of course, we have seen something like that in a, when we started the class, when we talked about uh, trends, bullish trend and bearish trend. We were talking about higher high and higher low. That's just simple what we're looking at. That's just simple what we're looking at, okay? What we're looking at is, okay, uh, the market, let me look for a clear trend where I can use as an example for you. Oh, let me take USD. All right, beautiful. Okay. Now, if you look at this trade before it dropped here, if you look at this particular currency pair, you will notice that if I draw a line right from here down to this place, you notice that price was coming and hitting this this area, this area right here, and then dropping, hitting this area, dropping. It broke through, came back down, and then made it a touch it again, and then before it dropped very, very far. Okay, so I also draw another line like this. You can see also the price was touching this lower area, and then. And then turning back. So price was playing in between this space and this space. But this time around, you can see it's not horizontal, but it's um, diagonal. This is what we call channel. A channel. Okay? This is what we call a channel in a forex. A channel. like a channel. Now, we can see this clearly if we go to the daily time frame. You can see that channel clearly when we go to the daily time frame. Let me bring this down. Okay? Uh, let me put that in. Okay, beautiful. You can see it. So it's like it's support and resistance also, but it's diagonal, diagonal. So price was moving in between this place and this place. Now, what kind of trend is this? Bearish trend or bullish trend? Put in the chat box. Is this a bearish trend or a bullish trend? Looking at just this area that I drew, is this a bearish trend or bullish trend? I want you to put it in the chat box. So Abiodu says bearish trend. Anybody supporting? Tobiloba says bearish trend. Beautiful. And the characteristics of bearish trend is that we have what? Lower highs and lower lows. Lower highs and lower lows. So those points of the lower high, that point of the lower low, they serve as sometimes, most of the time, we can get a very smooth resistance area, resistance area. If you can, if I join them together, you can see that it's like the market is forming a pattern and it's the in work is in a channel. Okay, you can see this. This lower high, lower low, lower high. You see? So it's kind of market I can't use the um, this box, you know, I can't draw it diagonally. But uh so that's why I'm using the line to look for areas where market has been reacting on a diagonal uh, pattern, okay? You can see it. this lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. When market got to this place, it got pushed up against this same area, got pushed down this same area. Imagine you see this in the market. You see this pattern in, in the market that maybe found one to sell. And when it gets what you want to expect to do, to go up. When it gets what you expect to do, to sell, okay? channels in the market. For example, the GBP card that I that I that I said I'm trading. Okay. So most of the time whenever I come to the whenever I come to the market, I look for different patterns. Can I support and resistance? Can I see channels in the market? Can I see channels in the market? Now let's look at this. If you look closely now most of the time when you see um, when you see when you see a trend, 
on higher time frame, or you see one candle on higher time frame. This one candle can be like 30 candles on a lower time frame. Do you know that? Now look at this. I could actually connect these guys together here, right here. Okay? Because I see that price is coming, hitting this thing. It, it pushed out here, but looking at the pattern, price is kind of hitting this place and coming down, hitting this with coming down. So, okay? So I want to believe that until this market breaks to the upside, this line will hold. Now, if I go to one hour time, channel also. Look at this. Market was getting to this place and then it's, it's returning. And look at it on one hour time frame. Again, it's more clear. You can see uh, the reaction. Sorry, my internet is not... I hope I'm still connected. Wow, my son is messing up today. Can you still hear me, please? Put, put one in the chat box. See if you can. And there's uh, going up and down. I want to be sure I'm still connected. Okay, thank you very much. So, you can see, look at this. Look at the uh, 30 minutes time frame now. That channel we are seeing on four hours. Eh, that is not very clear. When you go to 30 minutes time frame, you can see very, very clear. Market is is just the darling in between this particular uh, area. Okay, you can see it. So this is also a kind of support and resistance areas. Support and resistance areas. So I can actually be trading in between these areas until probably the market now pushes out of this area. Then probably I will I will then I will then say okay maybe there's going to be a change in orientation of the direction of the market. But see, market is pushing. We pushed up today to this place. Uh, this is today between here and here. Today is almost ending by 10 o'clock. Today we end. So it pushed up to this place. When it goes to this place, what is that? I, I sold the market. Okay? But I'm still selling this market. Even though it's going up, I'm still selling the market. Why? Because I can see from our initial uh, talk, there is a, what, a support area here that I expect this market to come down to. So combining this channel, and this support area, I have a target of where I want this trade to get to. Okay, so when it gets to this place, I expect the market to drop again, drop down, and still come up again, drop down. But when it gets to this place, I take my profit, and now see what will happen, whether this support area will push the price back up, or it's going to break it, and then I'll be looking at coming down to this next support area. So combining this channel and this support area, I have an analysis already. That's that's an analysis already and I have a I have a direction. I know where I'm going. Okay? I know where I'm going. But the only time I probably may get out of this place is if market now comes and break to the upside. If it breaks to the downside, it's still good for me because I'm in a downward direction. I'm not I'm not in a upward direction. So if it still breaks to the downside, it just like this, I'm still cool. Or if you bring to the upside, then I might be thinking of getting out of a sell trade, a bearish trade. Do you understand? If you get the put two in the chat box, if you get the put two in the chat box. Now let's look for that channel. Let's go that example. Beautiful. Let's put that example in the market. Uh, let me see if you can see something here. Anything here. Okay. Okay. I can actually do something here. Okay. Now this is the um, daily time frame. So what we we'll do after we've we'll gone through this, we we'll might okay beautiful. If you notice something right here. There is what this weekly time frame. You can see the market. This has pushed down. The market obeyed this channel for a long time. Oops. What happened here? 
Am I to connect it? Okay. You can see the market obeyed this channel for a long time. Uh, right here, you obey this channel until it broke out of it. it broke, broke out of it here. So if you have been selling this market, if you have been selling the market maybe from here, maybe you have seen this pattern already and you have drawn it out and then you have been selling this market from here. You can see can write this channel down, 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 down. And um, I, I believe some people must have probably started selling this market from here and they are still in the trade for the past three months. This is one month. So what am I talking about? Is this a month or week or year? No, sorry. Three weeks. One, two, three, four. This is one month. This is a year. This is a year now. This period is a year. So this market has been going down, forming a channel. This this channel has been for many years now. One, two, one, two, three. For three good years, this channel has been down. You understand? So somebody can just be saying, I'm trading AUD card in loan. And he has been selling me, selling AUD card for the past three years. Okay? Four years. Because this is uh, 2017, 2018, 2019. Now we're in 2020. It was in 2020 that I now broke out of the channel, but still in a bearish uh, direction. Okay, so this is a powerful, this is a powerful trade. This is a powerful trade here. Yeah. So let's take one more. Let's take one more. Let's look at your card. Let's look at your card. Okay. See another beautiful one here. Control B, Control A, delete. Close. Look at this. In fact, this has been obeying the channel since 2017. Also, look at this. Look at this. Now, it 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 it, it can't be exactly uh, smooth. You know? of course. Market cannot um, be, you can't get exactly smooth points. It's not possible. Okay? But it's just like an area. That's a big area. I can still push this down a bit, even to this point. Okay? But it's an area. Give the idea the, what the market is doing. Now, the market has been moving in this channel for the past four years also. Now, it doesn't have to be uh, in higher time frames, even in lower time frames. Even in lower time frame, you can see channels. If I want to trade this right now, as in right now, as in right now, this 15 minute time frame, I can see a channel already, even on 15 minute time frame. Okay? This is a channel, 15 minutes time frame. Uh, can you see this? It is beautiful. Now, I have no business buying this trade because it was, it's a bearish, on 15 minutes, it's a bearish uh, direction. So, what do I do? I might either wait for this guy to come back to touch this place and then come down. But as it is, I believe that this market is going to drop. It's going to drop. So even if I want to take a risk, I know that for a bearish, for a bearish trend, the market will not go back and take out the lower high. Abby, this is a bearish trend. This guy did not take out the last high. So this is a lower high. This is lower high. So I can actually put my stop loss above this lower high. Okay? My stop loss above this lower high. And then take a sell. Take a sell. And for this bearish trend to be true, it has to break this lower low, right? So I can just take a sell. My stop loss is 0 0.8391. 0 0.8391. 0.8391. Okay? And then my take profit, I can decide, okay, let's check for where can we take profit. Where can we take profit? I can see that in this area, actually, in this area, there is a strong support and resistance. I use a line for you can also see it right here. Okay? 
can see it right here. Hmm? You can't see my chat. Can you see my chat? Okay. Can you see my chat? Please, if you can see my chat, please put three on the chat box. Okay, all right. So you can see this area, there's a support area here. There's a support area here. So I can actually take my profit here, put my stop loss here. Can you see my mouse? Somebody said they can't see my mouse. Can you see my mouse moving? Please put yes or no. Can you see the mouse? This mouse. Can you see? Oops. Okay, I only can see my mouse. Okay, anyway. So I can actually take a sell, take my profit here, or I can decide that this is where I'm going to take my profit. Okay? Because this is another one. Believing that it's going to be break. But why should I let me just take my profit here? At least I've made some money. If this is now breaks to the downside, okay? What the market can do is if it breaks to the downside, if it breaks to the downside, what I would expect the market to do. What you and I should expect the market to do is once market comes down and breaks to the downside, you have to, to touch this lower uh, this lower trend line channel. What will you now do? Convert this to a what? Resistance. Like we learned yesterday. And then now drop again. And then possibly now drop again. Okay? So uh, so how do you do this? Let's take profit here. Let's put a stop loss here. What do we do? Click, click on new order. A stop loss is 0 0.8391. 0 0.8391. Okay. Uh, this is actually jumping into the trade, really. But I'm not saying this is how you should trade. I'm just telling you in case you want to do this. The best way to trade is for you to have taken that trade when markets are the vast at the lower high. This was the best time to enter this trade right here. After you've seen this candle, we we'll talk about this kind of this candlestick pattern. How the market has come to touch this place and has given you a reversal, reversal candle. You enter here and then you take it down. Okay? This is the best place to enter a bearish trade. This area and this area. Okay? So but if we want to just ride with the trend, Put a stop loss and then put a take for the new point eight three five four five and then we'll click on sell. Click on sell. So I'm going to sell a stop loss is right here. Okay, you can see that red line. The red line below that a stop loss. I take profit is right here. Okay, where this line is. Where this line is, that's, the line is covering a uh, big profit area. Let me move it. Okay, so so that's an this is just an example of how we look at how we look at trends. If you look before this started for me, there was also a a bullish trend right here. You can see this bullish trend. There's a bullish trend right here. You can see it. Bullish trend. Okay. Then it got broken at this place. Got broken here. Turn to what? This is like a support. This is like a resistance. So this support got broken. Turned it back to what? Resistance. This also happens. What happens with the uh, diagonal resistance support also happens with channels also. Whenever a channel is broken, market to come back to retest it. Market to come back to retest it and convert it to a 
resistance. So market came, let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me expand it. See this was holding. When market got to this place, it came down and broke it. it broke this, this is like a resistance, like a support. It broke it, but came to touch it again. To, to convert it to, to what? A resistance. Now that is now pushed market down to this level, then pushed up and then formed another channel. Now we have another channel holding. Okay, so we expect that this channel will respect it. Market to come down to this point, okay, until probably it breaks again to the upside. So as it is now, we are looking at just the sell market, okay, for this particular uh, trend. Let's look at one more. Let's look at one more. Look at this. Look at this. This is a long, you can see all the touches. So as you can see, market was touching this area and bouncing back. It has come here again, touched it. Now, will it bounce back? That's the next question. Now that it has come to this place, will it bounce back or will it break it? Okay? Will it bounce back and will it break it? At this point, what I want to do is I want to wait. I want to see the next few candles. What's going to happen? Will it give me a bullish candle? You can see when it, when it touched here, it gave me Strong bullish candle to push it back up. Okay? Now, when it's get now, I have gotten to this um, higher low. This is a bullish test. This is an higher low, right? I have gone to this higher low support. Will market go back? Will it break it? I don't know. So, I need to wait to see what the next one or two candles will do. If this candle breaks it down, I know that this will no more hold again. So, what will I wait for? I'll wait for a break to the downside. And then I'll wait for the market to now turn this to a what? A resistance before dropping down. Before dropping down. This is how the market behaves. You remember that what we said concerning uh, support areas and resistance areas. The support area, when market comes, it breaks it. Okay? When it breaks this resistance, what will it do? To come back down, to turn it to a what? Support before flying up. Same thing happens when it comes to this channel also. Same thing happens. If market should break this down, you going to come back. No matter how it goes by, you will come back, turn it to a what? Turn it to a resistance and then start for me in another a bearish channel. So I want to wait to see what I won't. I can't jump in this trade right now, like I jumped into the other one. I need to wait and see because it's already at the lower, higher low, higher high, higher low. It's already at the higher low point. So I need to see what's going to happen. The next two three candles to tell me what to do if I am to buy this trade or I am to what sell this trade. All right. So that's that. Is this clear? If it's clear, please put three three three. If it's clear, put three, three, three. I want three, put three, please. Put three, put three, if you understand what I just discussed now. My audio is off. I really can hear me. It's an absolute. Maria Valentina, he said it's not clear. You will need to also look. That's why it's very important that you you are up to date with the class. If you miss one class, the next class you may not understand some things. Okay? You may not understand some things, and that will be drawing us back. Everybody needs to update themselves. Now, I, I want to be sure that you understand what I just said. So in, in terms of recognizing patterns, this is the pattern where market is touching a particular area and you can actually connect where it touches at with a line. You can see, 
when I do this line, we have this touch, this touch, this touch, this touch, this touch. And then at the lower end, you have this touch, this touch, and then this touch. Okay? And then we expect that if this bullish trend will hold through, we expect that when you're not here, market should turn and continue to go up. She continue to go up. All right? So our bias is that at this point, market should go up. However, you cannot, you cannot say what the market wants to do. Let the market tell you exactly what it wants to do. I have to wait for it to speak to you. The market speaks to you as a forex trader. And you have to wait for it to speak. Right now, market has not spoken. The only thing I know now is that market has touched the higher low in this pattern. This pattern that I organized in this particular currency, the AUD JPY. Now, I want the market to tell me also, are you going to break this area or you are going to go back up? Okay? And I said the next two, three candles will tell me exactly what the market wants to do. Whether I want to come down or you want to what? Go back up. Okay, if you want to come down, now yesterday we established the fact that whenever a support or resistance area is broken, it's going to be converted by the time market comes back, it's going to convert it to what the opposite, which is what resistance. Because yesterday we talked about resistance. Same thing applies. This is like a resistance area, and this is like a support area. And so when the support gets broken, we see candles breaking down this particular line. That means it's no more holding this pattern, it's trying to form another pattern. But before it starts just dropping, 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 it will first come back and touch this line and then convert it to a what? A resistance before dropping. Okay? And um, I can't remember the last one I showed you, but let me see. I can see an example of that again here. Okay. If you look at this area, now this is what we, what we learned yesterday. This is what we learned yesterday, actually. Just like to explain a bit more to you. Sorry, I have to go back to the purpose of that. The person that says she, she's not clear. Now I can see the, in this area, market was touching this place and bouncing back. It came here again, touched it and bounced back. This is a support area. But so when the market breaks that area and comes back to it, now this one that just shot out, can see it was a week. So it's still held. It's still held. That's why it brought it, it brought the price quickly down back to this point. Okay? It now became a what? So support here before, but by the time it got broken, it became a what? Resistance. 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 Can you see it? So formally support before. That is pushing back price up to the upside. But now, when it was broken, it became a what? Resistance. And then started pushing the price down. When it breaks again to the upside, what happened to the market? Market quickly came back down again and converted it to what? Support again. You can see it broke to the upside here. Market came back and converted it to what? Support. Before forming this new uh, pattern that we are seeing in the market. So we need to watch out for this pattern. As you can see now, uh, we have new candles coming, and we don't know if this candle is trying to become uh, bullish, but we need to let it finish and probably confirm with the next candle before we say we want to buy this particular market. But we're already seeing uh, the buyers trying to take over from the sellers right here. You know, they have been doing that from down here. Whenever market gets to this area, they try to watch, take over. So let's see. We have to wait for this market to actually finish and then we can even confirm with the second candle if both of them come bullish you can then enter for a, what, a bullish trade and then we can look at taking our profit when market touches this line again okay uh i'm sure by the time you combine today's video and yesterday's video uh Mother valentina, valentina you will understand what we are talking about even much more much more clearly much more clearly. We need to move forward now. But before I move forward to the next thing I want to discuss, can we, does anybody have a question? Does anybody have a question? If you have a question, just put question in the chat box. So 
So while waiting for questions, while waiting for questions, I will also give you the next assignment. And it's just like the same thing. I want you to okay, Mr. Abedon, I'll get I'll take your question. Uh, I want you to also look for two just like we did uh, yesterday, look for two currency pairs, okay, on four hour time frame and 15 minute time frame. I want you to draw out uh, channels that you can see. Channels can, channels will always be visible. You can see, okay, if it's, if it's not clear, then it's not a channel. It has to be clear. You must see the, the market trying to, you know, reverse in that particular area. It's very important. Mr. Biodo, uh Kindly unmute yourself. Okay. Good evening, class. Uh, Good evening. Thank you very much. So thank you so much for all the training and uh, catching up along. Uh, what I wanted to ask about this uh, support and resistance. Uh, there are issues of um, Will I say, uh, like you showed on the trend lines, we should wait whether to, to see what the market will do, whether it will break or it will yeah. bounce back. Uh, so yeah. at those points, what are the best way for us to know if it will totally break or it's going to hold? Because there are, for instance, like false breakouts and all these things where you will think the thing will go down and before you know it reverses. Sometimes you think it will reverse and it will still go back. So for new newbies like us, what are the best ways for us to adapt at those points of uh, resistance and support to know whether it will break through or it will, the resistance we hold or support? Uh, that's my question. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. All right, sir. Now, there's something. Please unmute yourself. There's something we we'll call a uh, candlestick pattern. This is, is a topic on its own. It's a topic on its own, okay? And that way, that is what will answer your question. If you check the course content, I just posted it again in the in the Telegram group, okay? There's something we we'll call candlestick pattern. Candlestick patterns. I mean, actually, we're going to give you a material you go to to check or to look at this pattern. It is this pattern that will tell you, that will speak to you what you will do whenever market gets to that point that you want to make a decision. Okay? Candlestick pattern. For example, here, there's a candlestick pattern that gives me a guarantee that this market will be drop. We call it the engulfing pattern. Okay? Here, there's also a pattern that we can see right here. Okay. Uh, here we also have the pattern that I can see right here. All these things we're going to discuss. There's a pattern right here, you know, called hammer. We can, can we we'll discuss all that in a, a full class. Okay. So what we are looking at right now is just chart patterns. Then we'll get to candlestick pattern. It's the candlestick pattern that will actually tell you whether the market will actually go up or it will go down. Okay. At the point we are looking at. So I want us to take it step by step, step by step. So now I want to talk about the concept of breakout and retest, breakout and retest, breakout and retest, breakout and retest. You can write that down somewhere. Breakout and retest. Of course, we've been, we've been mentioning it. Uh, I've already, I'm sure I've mentioned it already. I just want to lay more emphasis on it. Okay. I want to lay more emphasis on it. We can see that there's, a, there's an area of resistance and support right here. This is support, support. Sorry, resistance, resistance. Then it broke out to have a support here. And then it broke out again. Then we have resistance right here. Okay? 
broke out again. Look out right here, okay? Now, market, when it gets to area of support and assistance, there are two things you want to look out for. Number one is, is there going to be a breakout? There going to be a breakout. There going to be a breakout. Now, if there's going to be a breakout, then when do I get into the trade? When do I get into the trade? For example, you can see when market was coming down here, it came back and, and turned this to a persistent, a dropped, persistent, dropped. Then it break, broke out. It didn't call breakout. When you get to the system point or support point and market breaks out from that area, we call it a breakout. Okay? And most of the time, in fact, 70% of the time, market will always come back and retest where it has broken. Hello? Market will always come back and retest where it has broken. Market will always come back and retest where it has broken. This area, for example, has been this area, for example, has been a support or a support here. Okay? And you can see that there was a breakout here. What did the market do? Let me draw a line so you will see. When market was coming back, it broke it. There was a breakout right here. After a breakout, what did the market do? It came back and was retested. Hmm? And then it dropped. Now, whenever there's a breakout, all the best way to trade a breakout is not to jump in to the market. I'm already telling you how to trade. You not to jump into the market. The best thing to do for you, okay, is, especially when you don't know whether it will break or not, one thing you can do is wait for the reset. Wait for the reset to get a better entry. To get a better entry into the new move. You can see where market is broke here. Somebody could have entered into this market right here. Abby? Because when this guy broke, ah, what's the break? Now jump into this market around this place. Now, you now see market going back. And this is a four hour time frame. One hour is going back, two hours going back, three hours, and you're ready in the market. You will not be seeing red. Your mind will not be, will not be at rest. You'll be watching the trade. Am I going to lose money? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Am I going to lose money? Yeah. This thing is going against me. Okay? But since you know that this was a strong support, Market will always come back and retest it. So when it came back and retested it, then once it got, gets back to this place, of course, get everything, it can decide to what? Go up again. But can you tick pattern? What you asked about is now what will now tell me, okay, this is an entry. When I got here, this particular candle, there's a name we call it. There's a name we call it a doji candle. It's a reversal candlestick. We'll, we'll go more into in depth into that. When I saw the reversal candlestick, at a what support resistance area, it is a valid entry. So this gives me entry into the market. I would enter the market at a better price. So I've entered the market at the close of this particular candle to get this long, beautiful trade. Okay. Also, when market broke out, you can see market broke out around this place. Now it's retested like twice. Some of us might have missed the first retest. Okay, that's this place. We are looking at this place. When it broke out, this candle broke this level. It broke this level out. But you can see that this candle came to retest it. This candle actually came to retest it before. What happened is the market came in at this place, went up, went down, retested, went back up, and then before it went to another candle. So this candle came to retest it and gave us an armor. This would have been a better entry, actually. Okay? Uh, however, if you miss this entry and the market has gone far away from you, don't jump into it. What do you do? Wait for it to come back. It came back again to that same point. So we test that same point. Now it's now a support area. You can see, you cannot enter this street and then you can see market went up. Look at when it break, broke again that area. What happened to this country? It came back and it tested it. It's so strong it couldn't 
push up again. They came back here, but the market did not go too much far. All right. So every time there's a breakout, there is always a what a retest. Every time there's a breakout, there's always a retest. Let's look for more examples. So breakout always go with retest. Look at this area, for example. at this area. This looks like a strong you can see. Market broke out here, came back to retest it and then pushed up. Okay, market broke out here. Broke out. This was the breakout. Came back to retest it. Gave us a candlestick pattern here, and then we pushed up. Okay, it happens almost all the time. It happens almost all the time. Let's look at this again. Look at this area. In fact, you have to retest it. This was a resistance, resistance. By the time I came back here, it couldn't push down. What happened? It went up, came back to retest. This is one entry. We could, it didn't push up too much. It came back to retest again. And they gave us a pattern for us to go what? To go long. To go long. When I say long, <laughs> that means to buy. And when I say short, that means to sell. These are terms that uh, Forex is that do. Okay? When I say I'm going long, that means I'm buying. When I say I'm going short, that means I'm what? I'm selling. Okay? Let's look at other examples. Let's see the other examples. You see it almost all the time. Market does that. So test and test, breakouts and the test. Okay, breakouts and the test. If you look at this area also, look at this area. So this is resistant, resistant, resistant breakouts. What did it do? Came back to the test it right here and then pushed up, pushed up. Go to test it one more time again, pushed up. So this has become a what? Support area, support area. After this breakout, can wait, can always wait, always wait. The patience is necessary in forex trading. So you can see this retest and then push up. Okay, push up. Look here again. There was a breakout right here. What happened? Market came to retest, retested there, push down, still retested again, push down. Okay, breakout here, retest again, push up. Can you see? Breakout here, retest, push up. You can see. Breakout here. It came to retest it. So the breakout here came to retest it. Push down. Okay? You can see this thing almost all the time. Almost all the time. If I if I look at this area also, as small as it is. As small as it is. Even though this one didn't give us an opportunity, it took a long time before it came back to retest it. <laughs> okay? See, see this one. After you do in fact, fact, you went to another, I think John did a long time ago, but that means there was a area of support resistance right here. That's why the market touched it, pushed up, touched it, pushed up. And then he came back to retest. Came back to retest this guy. Okay? So, you can see, this line is still holding, still holding. Look at this one too, also. Look here. Can see this area? Resistant, resistant, breakout, retest, push up. Okay? So it's always, always happen. Please, these are very important to the notes. Look at the areas we've drawn before. Market is still coming to respect those areas. You can see this area. Market is still coming, very strong. Still coming. We've drawn this line. A long time ago, and see, market still came into this area, still respecting area of support and resistance. So don't joke with your area of support and resistance whenever you come into the market and you are drawing your uh, and you are doing your analysis. Okay, so that is what breakout and retest. So the best way to trade a breakout is retest. The best way to trade breakout is what retest. 
to sell. Okay? So there are two types of trade that you have in the market. There are two types of trade that you can have when you get to areas of uh, support and resistance. Is either you have a reversal or continuation. Reversal or continuation. Uh, let me see. If you look at this guy, this daily time frame. I'm already seeing a pattern from the right. Looking at the recent candles, actually, if I look go to lower time frame, it's going to be clear. Okay, I can see a kind of assistance and support between this area and this area. This is a channel. Okay, and from the look of things, look at this. This guy is trying to go back up. If this candle finishes bullish. This will be a possible buy trade for me. Okay? If this candle finish bullish, look at our trade. Our trade is in profit already. We didn't even look at it. The trade we took is already in profit. It's almost hitting the take profit. That's why the take profit is turning uh, green. It's showing that it's almost taking profit. Okay? Almost taking profit. Yes, yesterday, I think we took a trade that was in profit. So look at this now. This is four hours time frame. You can see this channel even more clearly when you go to lower time frame. It looks small, but when you get to lower time frame, you see that it's a big deal. You can see it. You can see it. So when we get to this place, this is what? The trading reversals. At this point, we trade reversals in between support and resistance areas. Reversals in between support and resistance areas. You can see this is the reversal. Market came here to reverse. Now it has come here. In fact, this is a reversal already. So I can even decide from here, from the lower time frame, I can see already that uh, this market has, uh, is going up. So I can decide what do I do? How do I trade this now? What I would do is I'm going to put my risk below this trend line. Because if this thing will fail, that means that look at it has not failed. This fail, it didn't fail yet. So I put my risk below this candle here, which means my stop loss will be below this candle here. This candle here. This candle here. So I can put my stop loss around here. And then I can decide to take profit. Where is the next uh, resistance area? That's here, right here. You can see support, support. So possibly when market comes to this place, it's going to work. May push it down a bit before trying to come up to this place. Okay, so I can decide to what? Take my profit around here. So what do I do? I enter into a new trade. 0 0.01. My stop loss 1.753. 1.753. And then my take profit will be. I will make sure that it be before that next. Area of support and resistance. Before this area, that's where I'll put my stop loss. I can see I want to take my property, I want to come out before I reach this point. 1.780. 1.780. And I click on what? Buy. Okay? So, if I put my cursor here, it means if this market comes up to this point, I'll be making $9.5. $9.5. And if I lose, putting my cursor where my stop loss is, I'll be losing seven dollars. Okay, that's the issue. Let me see. So I'll be, I'm risking seven dollars to make nine point five dollars. So that's what it means. Okay. So this first area can push even before it touches. Before it touches, yeah. So I'm looking at making $11 from this trade, and I'm risking $7. So this is one way of trading. This is now a trading reversal. I'm trading what? Reversal. I'm trading reversal. 
So this is a reversal trade. Okay, reversal trade. So very important, you need to know exactly what you are looking at. So this is a channel. Why did I take this trade? This is a channel. And then when market came to this place, you know there was struggle between uh, seller. Seller wants to keep going down, but buyer said it's our turn. We need to go up. And then looking at these three candles, these candles, these three push up, is enough for me to say, uh, uh, no, the buyers have taken over this market. Okay, buyers are taking over this market, so I expect the market to buy up to this the, this area at least. Even if it doesn't get here, it definitely will get to this area where there's a support, which should be like a retest. Market broke out from this support area, so if it's going to have to come back, it has to come back at least retest this to make it to become a what a resistance. But can also break it again and come up the hot. At least market is going to come back to this particular point before anything. I expect any other thing to happen. So, uh, but like you know, the broker will still take their money first. In fact, both trades are already in profit. Both trades are already in profit. Okay. So this is how you look at um, resistance and support line. Resistance support line. So we've looked at horizontal resistances and we we'll look at channels which are which are diagonal support uh, support and resistance areas. All right. So that will be the end for today's class. Very nice to five. If you have any question again, please put in the chat box if you have any question. And then uh, tomorrow we'll see whether we won this trade or or not. So does anybody have a question so far on what we have discussed? Based on what we have discussed today. If you have a question, please put in the chat box question. Or if you want me to go over any of the things that we've discussed today, please just put in the chat box what you want me to go over. Is it the channels? Is this a live account? <laughs> This is, not my, this is not a live account, this is a demo account. I have my live account and I have streets already running in it. This is a demo account. Okay, because I this, I just did this to show you, uh, just this is like a brief analysis, it's not in depth analysis. We still get, we are still, we are still, we are, we are building it. Okay, very soon we we'll go to we'll do more in depth analysis. Go with the trade. This is just a simple trade I just quickly took. Okay. So by my life account, I have things on it. But well, life account and demo account, the same concept, the same thing you see. The same chart is exactly what is happening in the market you are seeing. All right. In the absence of any other question, uh, we we'll call it a day for today. Now, the assignment for today. Yes, yes to this assignment. Yes, Mr. Natiro, when it's going up, it is bullish, and when it's going down, it is bearish. When it's bullish, you are buying. When it's bearish, you are selling. When it is long, you are buying. When it is short, these are just terms we use in Forex. When it is short, you are selling. Forex, I say I'm going long, or I'm buying, I'm going bullish. They are all, the, all of them mean the same thing. And when, it, when we say we are selling, or we are short, or we are, we are bearish, Everything means that we are going down. All right. So right now in this trade we are bullish. Okay, and we are in profit already. We are in profit already. All right. So imagine a thirty dollar account. On a thirty dollar account, if we make, if we uh, make eleven dollars, you know how many percentage that is. But we are risking seven dollar, which is too much risk for a thirty dollar account. So we'll get to the area where we we'll talk about risk management. We'll get to that area, we'll get to that point. All right, guys. Uh, we'll call it a day for today. Your assignment again. Two two currency pairs. I want you to draw out channels. Those are for channels for me. I want to see your channels on fifteen minute time frame and four hour time. 15 minute time frame and 4 hours time frame. 